is the bob wire we always use to stretch. It's just a bigger wire, it's a soft wire, it bends good. This is the 15 and a half gauge, this is a 10 gauge. A 15 and a half gauge, everybody looks at that and says well, that won't do anything. This wire has more tensile strength than this wire because this is class three, this is class one. A lot of people like this, and there again, this is just like red brand wire. You can pull it and pull it and pull it. You can keep pulling it, and you can pull it so tight that your bob wire will start getting loose and you can twist it down the line. Mm. But this is the class, the class, this is what we normally put up unless somebody just has to have this, and there's several that do. I'm all, uh, the old school that don't know the new, what's in this? I don't know, it's a carbon alloy. You've been in chemistry, you probably know what's in this. <laughs> yeah. I don't. I'll put it up, but I have no idea that's how to make the, it. That's not the Japanese wire, that's a cobalt. It's it's Beckert wire, Beckert. it's, it's Gucho. Okay. Gucho, Beckert, same wire. Yeah. And uh, they used to make this wire in Dyersburg, Tennessee. Yeah, that old big wire looks, looks like what Red Brand used to be. It a long is. Time ago. So it you is. like class three, the 15? I is. like class three, 15 yeah. and a half gauge on this. The wire is a 1047, which is 10, 10 horizontal wires, 47 inches tall. It's a 1047 six, which is your stays, your spacing between the stays for your verticals, and 12 and a half, which is your gauge. And that having a, a 10 gauge top and bottom. Which, there again, that wire, even Red Brand wire, Red Brand made a wire that everybody bought for their bull lots. It was a nine gauge wire all the way through. It was a big heavy wire. That wire right there is twice as strong as it. And it's a smaller wire, but it's it's a higher tensile.